Hey everybody, welcome back to my Cumberlatcha kitchen. You're up on our home, our farmstead. You can see I'm sitting in our driveway. This is the driveway coming up onto the top of the mountain. Back here, you probably can see, I don't know if you can see it in the picture or not, our solar panels, that's where we're getting the electricity. Now the electricity is not running this, this is gas. And I decided, since it's been a while since I've done anything up here, I probably should get some help. So, I have somebody helping me today. You guys aren't gonna believe. Mama Vera has come to Cumberlatcha to help me cook. Actually, she's Hello. been she's been working all week weekend. We've been clearing all kinds of roots. We've been cutting down trees. She yelled at me because she I wouldn't let her use the chainsaw. Then she took the chainsaw away from me. I told you she's not really a nice person. But so, what do you think about Cumberlatcha? Since no one else has been here except us, I you, love it. I've picked out my spot for my little bitty house is going to go. I said I was going to buy a tiny house and put there. And um, I've got my spot all picked out. So I wish he'd hurry up and get busy. But we're doing, we're just basically putting something together. We've been working all day yesterday and all day today. <laughs> we're going to put together a pasta dish with ground beef, some onions and peppers, corn, a little bit of a barbecue flavored sauce we're going to make ourselves. So, actually, first I got to like that, or you're not going to be cooking. Well, he should have had that done. It's hard to get good help, you know. It's beautiful up here. That's all there is to it. Except the only problem is, it's raining off and on. So, if we start dripping, you'll know why. Yeah, it was sunny all day. We weren't supposed to have any rain. Okay, you've been working on that. I'm going to go ahead and start doing the onion if I can steal her knife real quick. Okay. She got a phone call, someone calling her. But we're just gonna use about two pounds of, you're right, I don't like this nut. We came up here and didn't bring any of the stuff with us, so we had to go to the store. And when she covered this knife, she said I wasn't gonna like it, and she was right. But we're using about two pounds of ground beef, two red peppers. I'm gonna use a whole sweet onion. It usually only calls for about half of an onion or a medium onion. But I like onions, so we're going to put a lot of onion in there. And I'm cutting up a two red peppers. And I always turn them with the shiny side down because if you don't, you might slice your finger because your knife might slip. I don't think this one would, but it yeah. might slip. You never know. So. I think it goes up a little bit. Sounds like it. There we go. If you guys hear rain, it may be rain, but it's probably just the leaves. Every time it, the leaves blow, it sounds like we're getting rained on. But she got here, what, Friday? Mm-hmm. And yeah. brought her up here. She walked all the way down to the creek. I don't know how she made it down there. It's hard for me to make it down there. But you've already felt once. So. That's because he cuts a tree down and he leaves this much of the stump. And then he's got six inches of leaves. I mean, how do you know where to walk? When you cut a tree down, you leave enough of the stump so you can take it out, or you take the stump out at the same time, but not him. Then he hunts for the stump. I don't have to hunt for the stump. I just watch where she falls and I found the stump. There's okay. the stump. Okay. Okay, let me just mix this around a little bit. I'm using my cast iron. I actually took another trip down to Sevierville. And got some more cast iron. And this is usually one that you would use on the campfire. It's got legs on it. But I didn't bring my other Dutch oven, so I'm gonna use this because it can sit down inside the fire or the grate here. And this is cooking quickly. We're gonna I, add some leaves to it, it looks like. Well, that's nature. So once we get this all put in here, I'm gonna help her out some. I loved it in Sevierville. My cousins used to live there, and I knew where everything was at. I went to the candy store, of course, and got a caramel apple. All I liked it about was going to the cast iron store. Yes, I love the cast iron store, too. I got a skillet. This is just a paper towel that's wet so that my board don't slide around. But I'm going to move it now. 
I don't need it anymore. Okay, let me get this stirred up a little bit. If I keep the leaves out of here. We weren't planning real well, so we don't have all of our cooking utensils up here. I don't think we were planning at all. No, we weren't planning at all. It's beautiful up here, though. It really is. They've done a lot of work. I can't believe how much they've got cleared out and ready. Next time, I hope to see a cabin started. Cabin's going to go right over there. I don't know if you can see it just to the right of the uh, solar panel. You're going to pick out a spot. Where have you been looking? Well, I looked up there, and then I thought maybe, maybe not. Maybe in that curve that comes around the road, maybe one right there. A little one. A little one. I thought about a tiny house. I think those are so cute, but I don't know. I think she wants a cabin. A tiny house is too tiny. I don't have room for all my cookware. This gas stove really is noisy. Yeah, that smells good. Okay, let me season this up while we're doing Alrighty. this. Alrighty. And I'm going to put about a teaspoon of salt. Maybe a little more. Paprika. And probably about a teaspoon of paprika. Maybe a little more of that. That's good. Yeah, we'll see what. I'll put all the ingredients down below and also put them on my website, gregfashkitchen.com. And I have to have garlic, and I couldn't find any good fresh garlic, so I bought this. It'll work. You use probably about three cloves of garlic, man. I might use about four. And then we're going to mix in probably about a half a cup of ketchup. And, oh, she's a good sous chef. About a half a cup, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Just get a little barbecue. I want to hold this pan, but I don't have a hot pot. Okay, brown beef, brown is really good. A little bit different than cooking in your kitchen, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> but it's like camping. Excuse me. We're going to use rotini pasta, and you're going to use about two and a half cups of beef broth. I bought bone bone broth, which is bone beef broth. Put that in. That's going to help cook the pasta so you don't have to pre-cook the pasta. It's going to cook it all right there. It's all the flavor of the beef broth and all the flavors that in here into the pasta, too, so it's not just bland. So we get about two and a half cups in here. That was the Hey, that works. And I'm going to put about a teaspoon of vinegar, apple cider vinegar in here. About a tablespoon, not a teaspoon, I'm sorry. Thank you. Then we'll add in the pasta. We're going to cover it and let it cook for about 12 to 15 minutes till it's tender, and we should be ready. But we're also going to add the corn and the beans before that. True. I forgot that. So I got a small can. What is this? A 8.75 ounce can of corn and a regular size can of pinto beans. And as usual, I don't have a pot big enough. We're just going to pray this works. Get this in here. We've done a lot of praying. So, cutting down trees, yeah. praying they fall the right way. I've been praying to see a deer. I haven't, we haven't seen, seen any deer. yet. I'm going to put a little bit more beef broth in here to cover it. I'm just going to cover that, put it on about medium, and just let it cook for about 12 to 15 minutes, and then we'll be back. Okay. 
Oh, that smells so yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, we really need a bigger pot. And he has so many big pots, but we just didn't bring one. Mmm, I'm gonna eat it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm. I'm gonna burn my face. There's your Jesus water. Mmm. While we're waiting for that to soften the pasta to cook, last night, first let me explain something to you a few minutes ago before we started. She was over there at the truck and she was doing her makeup, her hair, getting everything pretty. Well, I didn't when, have enough time, so I just look like this. When we stopped, she came over and she goes, You might want to wipe your face off. You're all dirty here and here. She let me do this whole, she got makeup, eyes dirty, she didn't care. But last night, we were coming back from Sevierville, doing about, we was going pretty good fast pace down the highway. 50 miles an hour supposed to be, he was doing about 70. With his mother, scaring me to death. And our front tire blew out, front driver's side tire. I don't know how I got to the side. I got to the side. I was praying. I was praying too. So then we get over there, call for a tow truck because we couldn't get the anything loose. Couldn't get the tire down. Tow truck came. They couldn't figure out how to get it done. So it was a flatbed tow truck. The man looked at me and goes, you know what I'm going to do? And he talked like that. I'm going to pull my truck right over here. Right, that, right there in front of yours. You're going to pull right up on there. I said, no, I'm not. Greg said, uh -uh, uh -uh. I'm not doing that. He goes, it's legal. You can pull it up there and y'all can ride in the truck. In Tennessee, it's legal as long as you can call me. I'm like, call you for what? As we're falling off? I don't. No, I'm not pulling it up there. So he pulled it up there. So you've seen the Beverly Hillbillies. You know, it's in here. I where, was so embarrassed. Where Granny's riding on the back of the truck. It was kind of what happened last night. Our truck was on top of the tow truck bed going down the highway to the hotel and granny was up on the back so that was our night and he was in the front seat i mean you would think that he would check his tires before we went somewhere and before we he speeded i mean he drives 80 miles an hour all the time you know that was the truck that you drove all the way from florida home towing towing a camper it could have happened then. Did you check your tires when you got in to come here? Yes, we did. I don't believe you. We did. You want to check that over there because it's probably time that we put our cheese in so the cheese can melt into it. I didn't want to put it in at the beginning because we're using cast iron. That is red hot on the bottom. And we've been having to stir it to get all the stuff off the bottom so it doesn't scorch and burn. And this cheese would have burnt like crazy. So you can put as little, as much as you want, because that's full, and I'm not going to spill it. You sure? You want me to do it? No, you did enough last night. Didn't know where the jack was. I found it. Today. That was last night. That's why I called for help. Okay, put your cheese on there. Okay, now I'm going to let you, well, here, you might stir that in. Can I have that so I don't burn my fingers? I'm going to turn this off because this cast iron is piping hot. Once I put this in here and close the lid, it's still going to continue to cook. But this will continue to cook because the cast iron is nice and hot like i said this is just a nice hearty meal after we've been working all day long cutting I down know, trees she's been cutting down trees she's been pulling up stumps she's been doing everything so that's all turned off i'm gonna put the lid back on let it sit for just, just for a few me. minutes i know once we were at my uncle's house and this was when my sister carol was little bitty girl my sister carol she could do anything and she was a little girl, and she came in the house, and she said, Daddy, I've been out there with, out there in the pot, potty room, and I'm sorry, but 
I couldn't find the flusher at Uncle Willie's toilet. It was an outhouse. She had never went in one. <laughs> oh, my Uncle Willie just laughed and laughed and laughed. It was so cute because Carol was so sweet. But they've got a beautiful, beautiful land here. They've got it all cleared. They've got a beautiful circle. I'm standing in the front of the circle drive. They got it comes all the way around. And then they can drive right on out. They've got a big, I don't know what it is. It's a four-wheeler of some kind. ATV. ATV. Yeah. I've got a TV, too. But mine's on the wall. But they've got an ATV. And, and they drive it. Sometime I'm going to get on it and see how fast I can go down that lane. <laughs> we, of course, don't have a spoon to dip it, so we're using the big old coffee cup now. Let me warn you, I've learned these metal bowls conduct heat real quick. They so do. put it on a plate so it doesn't burn your fingers. You know what? Okay, you, so better, you better get that bug off that plate. Mm. This is good. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, she put about two more, no, four more tablespoons of garlic in it. And she put a little bit more of all the seasonings except for the salt. So I will correct it down below and put what we actually put into this. Because it does taste good. She was right. It was kind of bland when we were tasting it and testing it. Mm, it's good, good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mom's right. Good. Well, we got another day with Mom. And then she'll be gone, and she'll be doing her videos back at home again. I'm glad you all joined us today up here on our Cumberlatcher Farmstead. And there goes a bee getting into my food. Hope you guys come back again. Next time you see me, I'll be in the camper probably, or might be here by myself, or at the ER getting stung by a bee because I'm allergic. Or I might come back and be with him. And we'll see you again soon. Take care, y'all. Love Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Love you, bunches.